Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we dive into the topic that many individuals going through a divorce can relate to, the complexities of social dynamics during and after a divorce. Divorce not only affects the couple directly involved, but it also ripples through their community, their friends, their family, leading to a wide range of opinions and, of course, reactions. Join us as we explore the challenges of facing judgment, intrigue, speculation from those around you and how to handle it. We discuss how to handle the drama and information spreading, and most importantly, how to take control of your side of the story. You'll learn valuable tips on setting boundaries and responding to nosy questions and preserving your privacy during this very vulnerable time. Divorce may also lead to a divide in your social circle with friends and family choosing sides. We delve into the feelings of loyalty and preservation that often arise and how it could be painful to lose long-standing relationships. For those who have friends experiencing divorce, we offer insight to being supportive listeners without getting caught in the middle. You are likely to encounter a wide range of opinions about divorce from your community, your friends, family, neighbors, and religious community, and also if you're a parent from people from your kids' schools. Many may be ambivalent about divorce, leaving you feeling as though you're being judged. You may encounter animosity or feel as though others are distancing themselves from you during this time. All completely normal, very, it's going to happen. At first, there is a lot of drama around your divorce. When couples separate, they, other people are intrigued and speculation often comes to the surface. It is, after all, big news for some people. Janice, a 38-year-old preschool teacher with three children, shares this. What was odd was that with kids in school and having lived in my community for years, people came out of the woodwork to talk to me. People whom I did not know very well looked at me sympathetically, but they all wanted the scoop. There were people who will hunt you down at a party or a school function just to ask, hey, what's going on? I heard you were separated. How you respond to this question will determine how much people know about your situation. So be careful. The good news is that when you are feeling as though nothing is within your control, this is one place where you can exert a bit of control. You can feel determined by how much you share. And of course, information may seep out from your ex. This again is normal. Sometimes it's best to simply say that you are having some private family issues. If you feel the need to say more, you can just say that, hey, I appreciate your concern um, and I just request prayers for my family. And this tends to end the conversation with most nosy people. But sometimes the lever is the source of the information spreading. This person may be excited to spread the news for various amount of reasons. The lever is moving on, perhaps even in spite of their kids, spouse begging them to stay. In an attempt to justify their actions, the person leaving may share a long-kept intimate secrets or details, complained about being unhappy in the relationship, and they may also paint their partner in a poor light. They may have kept their struggles a secret, so when it's finally out there, they almost feel relieved to share the reasons. It's not unusual, and in fact, it's quite common. By knowing that this is not uncommon, it might help you know what to expect during this time. Although painful, it's part of distancing yourself from the marriage. You can control your side of the story. If you try to overcorrect or try to change the narrative, it, all it will do is just put the negative spotlight back on you even more. Allow this thought to free you for a second. It is not your responsibility to change the story someone else has created about you and their mind. Their opinion of you is none of your business. As harsh as this may sound, I want you to hear it from me versus your best friend or family member, whomever, stay in your lane. And remember to continue to speak your truth to the correct people, your therapist, church mentor, someone that you trust deeply. Your support group is a great place to speak to. You and your ex-partner undoubtedly have friends and family who know you both very well. Some people feel the need to pick a side during divorce. Perhaps they know your partner first, or so the long-standing loyalty is there for your ex, not with you after the breakup. You will probably have to split up your friend list, and family members may or may not side with one part or the other. It's tough, but you need to expect it. Some people have no experience with divorce and just don't know how to handle it. For some, your divorce may highlight a shortcoming in their own marriage that frightens them. It could happen to you, it could happen to them, they may think. It's just way too close for comfort. 
your couple of friends, the one spouse may want to support you while the other spouse just may want to stay out of it. Divorce is fragmenting and destabilizing for the community. And you may find that not very many people embrace it either as a concept at all because it represents change or divorce is a divisive in nature and triggers feelings that have to do with morality. This is why you may find yourself being shunned. It's quite natural for people to go into preservation mode in response to threat. You may find that even people you thought were good friends disappear on you. There's no getting around it. It's going to be really hard. You may not even get to say goodbye to some friends who started out as your spouse's friends. For whatever reason, they may side with your partner which is really sad. This is an unexpected side effect of divorce that is painful, losing long, long standing relationships. It's better if you know this ahead of time so that way you can prepare yourself mentally and not take it personally. If you happen to be one of those friends, listening is all you need to do. Touch base and ask how they're doing every once in a while and that you're thinking of them and ask if they need anything. If one spouse starts talking poorly of your friend, the ex, you, can, you are entitled to say, hey look, I love you both and I'm deeply sorry that this is happening but um, and I'm happy to watch the kids or help with housework, but ultimately I would really rather not get in the middle. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Write in the comment section how you handled it. It may help other people. Click on the link in the description to get your copy of The Accidental Divorcee and embark on this journey of healing and growth and resilience. Don't miss out on this empowering guide that can help you change the way you perceive divorce and, and help you emerge stronger on the other side. Subscribe to our channel for more valuable content and support in your journey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.